everyone, welcome to Raman Science Center Nagpur. Almost a month back, one fine morning, it was reported that three of the projectors in a six projector based digital planetarium system in our center uh, went out of order. Uh, that way, the optomechanical system was not working for quite some time, and uh, with the digital projectors becoming defunct, we didn't have any other option but to shut down the shows. Uh, uh, we immediately contacted the agency who was holding the AMC at that time as well as the uh, OEM but both of them have confirmed that uh, all the equipment, all the projectors have been deprecated and there is no question of uh, getting them corrected or serviced even from the, uh, even for, for, for uh, even arranging parts from the grey market. Uh, so we just had uh, uh, no other option but to wait for uh, aid and to uh, go for a uh, open tender for a new system and uh, wait no less than six months. So while working for that, uh, while uh, waiting for the new system to come, we thought of just giving it a try to develop something of our own and uh, something indigenous. Uh, initially, we were not very sure. So uh, we had a word. Uh, initially, we had a word with uh, Vinay uh, from uh, from uh, Regional Science Center Calicut, and uh, we thought of. Uh, working with the previously available system, uh, but uh, Vinay has confirmed that uh, you will not get any uh, spares of that old system, so uh, there is no question of uh, getting it, uh, I mean, restoring it back into working condition. So we, then we, uh, we were very much sure that if we have to do something, we have to go for a new system only. Uh, we immediately had a word with our director, sir, uh, Sri Umesh Kumar Rishwagi, and uh, he said he, he advised that uh, instead of going for a very high cost uh, projector, it is always better to go for a low end projector and uh, make the system working first. Uh, if things are going to go smooth, then we can go for a better projector and better solutions, of course. So we pur immediately purchased uh, some very low end projectors. Uh, the intensity was really low around uh, 3,300, 3,500 or so, even uh, some other crucial factors are there. Uh, I'll tell you about that, uh, about those of the specifications a little later. Uh, and I mean, the project, all I mean to say is uh, those of the projectors we selected previously uh, were really, really uh, low end projectors. And uh, you'll get to see in the main screen the, uh, uh, the full dome projection that you, you, you'll see over here, the content being plain, uh, played on that are uh, based on those of the low end projectors only. So when we started, uh, before we started working on the indigenous system, I just had a uh, word with one of our veteran uh, planetarium uh, designer, Mr. Manus Bhakji, and uh, he told me about one particular problem. And of course, we faced that problem later on in course of uh, designing the system. He said, uh, once you are going to, uh, you are going to run the uh, full dome mapping and warping software from a single computer and. Uh, going to play back the full dome content from the same computer. The computer, no matter how heavy it is, how, how good the specification is, uh, be it a Xeon, be it a i7 of uh, the latest generation and all, and uh, with a huge uh, primary memory even, it is going to stuck up. It is going to uh, give some cluttering kind of uh, effect. So in order to get rid of that, he advised us one thing, one solution that uh, he, he, he told us, he advised us that go for uh, hardware, dedicated hardware, which can uh, take care of the mapping part and uh, the content may be played back from the system itself while the mapping part can be taken care, can be uh, very well taken care by the uh, hardware itself. We tried uh, fi uh, finding out such uh, uh, hardware, but uh, the, uh, we found uh, that those of the hardwares are not that easily available. Uh, the problem, and another problem with those of the hardware are that uh, if you go for those particular hardware, uh, there is a preferability that you have to go for projectors of a same OEM. So, uh, which which used to uh, uh, give us some kind of bindings, you know. So, we thought of uh, uh, solving the problem in a different way. We, we uh, prepared a, a server client kind of uh, architecture and we tried playing back, I mean, we, we, we are right now playing back the uh, content from a server and uh, from the server, the uh, heavy load of playing back the uh, content is done by the server and uh, through RTSP, it injects the signal to the client where the client is running the uh, mapping and warping software and uh, it is just, uh, I mean, uh, showing those of the frames received through the RTSP. So that is how we solved that problem. Now, uh, let me tell you about the, oh, okay, by the way, uh, the projectors, I mean, we are using uh, four projectors for this system right now. 
uh, with three projectors, we are covering the periphery, but uh, uh, with a, and uh, with another projector, we are covering the zenith. So it is all together, but all the four projectors are placed on the periphery, periphery itself. Uh, there is nothing in between at, at the focus. Uh, so we are keeping the entire space free for demonstration, for uh, free movement of the visitors and other things. So that is one thing, one uh, uh, good uh, part, I should say, about the uh, system, because previously the system we had, the optomechanical system was installed uh, right at the focus, at the middle. So we had some uh, hindrance in the movement. We uh, Even people used to stumble over. And uh, the worst part was that it used to cast a shadow on the screen. So that could be uh, avoided right now. And uh, that is one thing. Now uh, let me tell you in brief about the capabilities of the system. The first thing is that it can... Uh, Whatever content, whatever full of content you have residing in your server, it can be played very well with the help of uh, this uh, RTSP interface and all, uh, with the help of this uh, player. That is one thing. Uh, second thing is that uh, you can play back any content which is available on an online platform. Uh, in some of the places in US and uh, Europe, it is uh, found that I have seen that uh, they are not uh, giving upfront hiring charges for the content. On the contrary, what they are doing, they are just uh, uh, hiring, a, they are just uh, uh, paying for uh, per minute played, uh, the uh, content played per minute. So uh, in those of the cases, even if, if we need to adopt that uh, in future, we can play any online content uh, uh, with the help of our system, or the new system. Uh, that is another beta part. I'll uh, uh, shortly I'll show you uh, playing back one content, one full down content from YouTube itself. Uh, that is one thing. And the third and the best part is that I must mention previously we had to, in case of hybrid planetarium systems, uh, we had to purchase an optomechanical system separately. And the optomechanical system, uh, the OEM used to program it in such a way, in, in some way, according to the local sky and all these things, then we just uh, keep on uh, showing the same thing, same sky. Uh, for example, there is a, a celestial, there may be a celestial event uh, happening right now at, uh, at, at a country in Europe or in US. Uh, so uh, it was not possible to simulate those of the uh, situations right out here with the help of uh, the uh, optomechanical system. Right now, what we have done, we have removed any possibility of using a separate optomechanical system. Rather, what we have done, we have interfaced uh, a famous software called uh, Stellarium uh, with, a, with our uh, presently uh, warping and uh, calibration system. And uh, we can play back uh, the Stellarium in a uh, fisheye lens mode and we can show off, we can demonstrate uh, any any celestial event we can simulate any celestial event in the uh, full dome uh, full dome screen right now so that is one thing another part is another best part is that i mean uh, a, a better part is that uh, previously when we used to uh, demonstrate uh, there may be some uh, transition of some uh, uh, of some uh, planet and other things used to happen uh, many a times and uh, in those of the cases uh, while doing sky observation uh, in the evening, in the late evening, uh, I used to find there is a queue of uh, around 100, 150 people, and by the time the last person comes to uh, uh, comes in contact with the uh, telescope, the celestial event is gone because it uh, stays there for just a, a, a few tens of minutes. You know, uh, so in order to get rid of that, what we have done, we have interfaced a, 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 a telescope with a stellarium, and we can even. Uh, demonstrate a live celestial event with the help of a telescope through Stellarium to this entire screen. Uh, but to this, uh, we can project it uh, live into the uh, 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 into this uh, full dome screen. So uh, we can allow all the visitors, all the 100, 125 people, uh, to sit in a cozy comfort of our, of this uh, air conditioned uh, space, and we can allow them to uh, observe, to experience that celestial event together. These are all the uh, few things, a uh, few uh, uh, advanced things I must mention. We need not to uh, purchase uh, uh, any optomechanical system separately. We can simulate the entire thing uh, uh, here. We, if we wish, we can uh, simulate, we can demonstrate, we can do whatever we feel like. Now, uh, coming to the uh, main part, the money honey, of course, the pricing. Uh, let me tell you. Uh, without uh, the projectors, right now we are using four projectors and uh, even if we go for a very good quality projector, may it be uh, Barco, may it be Christie, may it be 
Panasonic. Uh, by the way, uh, there are three things I must mention about the projectors. Uh, the projector should have a dynamic contrast of 7 lakh and above. 7 lakh 50,000 is a benchmark. You know, uh, those of the projectors we are using uh, right now are very low end projectors. They have a dynamic contrast of only 2 lakh to uh, 2 lakh 25,000 or something like that. So they're not uh, quite capable as such. Uh, that is one thing. Second thing is that the, uh, the, uh, the throw ratio. Uh, so I was talking about the throw ratio. Throw ratio is uh, pretty crucial because uh, based on the throw ratio, the amount of curvature it is a single projector is going to cover uh, used to depend on that. So uh, most of the good quality projectors, be it uh, Barco, be it Christie, be it Panasonic, uh, we used to have a native throw ratio of 0.75 to 0.77, which is very crucial and up to any dome up to 18 meters of diameter, uh, that kind of throw ratio is very much, uh, I mean, suitable, very much preferable. Uh, whereas the projector, our, our dome size is uh, 11 meter, I mean, that uh, diameter is 11 meter. And uh, uh, the projectors that we are using right now, the, it has a throw ratio of 0 0.48. That is also acceptable, but thing is that that is the floor value. Anything below that, we won't be able to cover a good portion of, a considerable portion of the uh, dome with those kind of projectors. Uh, so, uh, with those kind of projectors. So, that is one thing. Uh, now, uh, let us come to the pricing. Uh, I had a quote received from a very famous agency. Uh, who have already supplied a number of planetarium systems to our council in a number of centers in our council and uh, uh, the quote for just a digital system was something in the tune of 6 to 6.5 CR. Forget about uh, uh, the, uh, the, uh, hybrid system, forget about other functionalities and other things and uh, the combined quote was something in the tune of uh, 10 to 11 uh, CR. Uh, the base part is that with a uh, indigenously developed system, apart from the, pro let us keep the pricing in two different segments. The uh, first segment is the, uh, the pricing for all the systems except the projector and the second part is the uh, pricing for, with, uh, the pricing of only the projectors. Uh, right now we are using four projectors. So, uh, without the projectors, we need to have a server, a client, a number of a, a, a particular mapping software, and uh, some other uh, accessories as well. And uh, with all the things, a server, client, and good quality monitor, and all these things, including all these things, uh, the price of the raw material comes around 15 lakhs only. And uh, now come to the projectors. Uh, if you want to go for a 8 meter dome, I believe a 3000 to 3300 ansulum projector is enough with a throw ratio of 0.48 and a native resolution of 1280 by 800. And uh, th those are the projectors we are using right now for a 11 meter dome. And uh, if you go for those kind of projectors, the cost of each projector used to be around 60 to 65,000. So if you uh, go for four such projectors, the cost would be well within uh, our uh, community purchase limit. I mean, within 2.5 lakhs. But it is always preferable to go for a better projector with better dynamic contrast, better uh, resolution, better throw ratio, and all these things. Uh, so if you go for and the so what is the limit? I mean, upper limit. So we have recently inquired with uh, Barco, and uh, what they have assured that if we go for uh, four to three to four projector at least uh, they can give us a very special pricing and uh, I have got it confirmed from a uh, 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 national level dealer that uh, the cost of each projector along with a lens and uh, other things would be no more than seven to seven and a half lakhs. So for such projectors, the cost would be 30 to 32 lakhs. So the cost of the entire system is going to be well within 50 lakhs. And uh, if you add some uh, transportation, then uh, TA and DA of uh, all, the, uh, all the employees who are going to install the system out there at site, so including all those things, it will be at no cost, at, at no situation, the cost will go beyond 50 lakhs, which is, I believe, uh, can very well be managed uh, within, uh, within our local budget only. Uh, so uh, that is the best part of the system. The second thing is that that is one way of, uh, that is one way we can uh, save hell lot of money. Uh, the second part is that previously for AMC, we had to depend on uh, external agencies, the, AMC, uh, the OEM and other, other people. Uh, now it is an absolutely indigenously developed system. 
uh, we can train our own people and if we are supplying it to another uh, organization we can uh, have a dedicated planetarium person out there and uh, it's a very basic system once we uh, make him thorough about the system he can very well play it uh, every day in the morning it's much like playing back a 3d content i mean the, much like our 3d theater you know the way we used to uh, play back the, the content out there just pressing one uh, key in the keyboard so it is much like that uh, we have uh, combined that we have designed the entire system in such a way that just uh, just with a few clicks you can uh, you are up and running so uh, that is another thing so we need not to pay uh, lakhs of rupees as amc henceforth we can manage our own system very well and the base part is once our previously what used to happen once our system is down we had to wait for days together uh, till the uh, uh, the help from the oem or the uh, agency who is ho holding the amc used to appear at site and then do something but now right now with the indigenously developed system we won't have to do any such thing we just we ourselves are capable enough to take care of the situation we can and at most the worst thing that can happen is the computers are going to go bad so we can very well replace those of the computers instantly and uh, uh, start the show within say half an hour or so so these are all the a few better things few good things about the system and i hope uh, it will be adopted all through the council uh, unanimously and uh, i'd like to specially mention about uh, i mean the, it's time to uh, time for vote of thanks so i must uh, thank uh, the entire team of raman science center but i specially mention about sri velumani venkat raman who had been instrumental uh, uh, working night and day almost for the entire project then i must mention about uh, mahen our mahendra wag the planetarium officer and uh, our uh, avinash thakre the electronics uh, person the officer uh, who is taking care of the electronics section here so they both of them have been working night and day almost uh, uh, to prepare the content sometimes to prepare the system sometimes it was a uh, a bit complicated system because we had to stack a number of uh, graphic cards uh, in a single system so that that way it was a bit critical uh, at sometimes but uh, i had full faith on them i must thank the mechanical system uh, mangesh uh, devgiri ji and all those people uh, and i'm really really so happy so grateful to all of them that they had been working uh, shoulder to shoulder together with each and every one of them uh, to make this project a big success i hope you have uh, enjoyed the video thanks for your avid listening and uh, happy diwali in advance thank you thank you very much